What's going on, y'all? Roman here from Left Eye, Right Eye, back at you with another Every Days. Today is Saturday, December 11th, and I'm psyched because I'm about to go get dinner with my girl, and then I'm going to a Taking Back Sunday concert. So I'm very excited. <laughs> so I got this done out of the way early. Um, I haven't practiced piano in a while, so actually what I'm doing right here is just practicing my scales and um, uh, chords um, just to kind of brush up a little bit. And then once I, it's funny, once I, I, when I'm practicing my scales, when I mess up is when I start like being like, oh, let me like record. Um, because that's usually where I find like some sort of like cool note that I accidentally hit or whatever it was and it sounds good or I fucked up a chord and that chord actually sounds decent with the other chords. So that's what I was doing here. I was just practicing, and then eventually I, I hit a wrong note, and I was like, "Ooh, this is that sounded cool," um, and I recorded in some chords, and uh, spent a little bit of time figuring out what um, inversion I wanted to play for the chords. I also figured out how to do the um, the turn the counts off, on or off. That's eight on the numeric keypad. Uh, FYI. So I always think it's a good day when I learn a new shortcut. <laughs> it's kind of like, uh, that's, that's for me. Um, that's a good day for me. So here I am just recording the chords in and I recorded the four chords in separately and I held them down and then I trimmed them up. You can see that here and lined them up on the grid. And actually, I didn't really, I actually lined them up on the grid with like an extra bar in between and then adjusted the MIDI a little bit and then committed it to audio and hit and made an active the MIDI track. Then I took the audio track and I cut up those chords and cleaned them up a bit, lined them up. Now I really lined them up to the grid. Um, the reason I record them in like a little bit longer is that I have some tail to do crossfades with. Um, that's something that I learned. So like right here, like in between chord two and three and three and four, I can crossfade them. But if you actually only record to the end of the bar that you originally want it, then it's always going to like not have enough room to do crossfade. So then I started adding some plugins, um, uh, after adjusting the volume of those four chords and cleaning them up, I added an LFO tool and, um, some Valhalla verb some non-linear reverb, um, and then added some RC20, a little bit of noise in there, and added some digital distortion. I really love this digital thing because it has a mix variable. So you can really kind of get some grindy stuff, and it sounds gross, but then you can drop it, the mix down to like one, two, or three percent, like what I was doing just there. So it just gives it like this little kind of like digital distortion, which I think helps bring the noise out in lower quality speakers like earbuds or through your iPhone phone. So um, it kind of like pops out because it's the same wave frequencies and the same um, audio, but then it's like, it's a little bit digitally distort distorted. So I like that effect. Uh, then I fucked around with some automation for the high pass filter cutoff and adjusted those uh, automation and um, and that was it y'all so uh, enjoy this little loop I made feel free to download it for free on left eye right eye .com. and um, every single one of my sounds is free for you as an asset uh, to use for loops for whatever you want um, uh, just you know like subscribe and uh, follow the journey all right y'all love you enjoy the rest of your night God bless and I will see you tomorrow